Hey everybody, Josh back with another video. It has been a hot minute, but I am back. Today I wanted to record a video on this mineral sample, or this rock sample I got. Um, this is actually Apatite and it's polished. Um, there seems to be some thorium content. Um, I don't have a gamma spectrometer, so I haven't been able to verify this. But people who have um, gotten samples from the same lot and seller uh, have done gamma spectro ah, gamma spectrometry against it and have discovered that uh, this thing is actually rather full of thorium specifically, not uranium and thorium, but like a lot of thorium. So that's kind of a cool and interesting thing. But anyway, yeah, so this is um, just a very beautiful greenish rock and I picked it up at a local shop um, on a tip from a friend that it was there and was radioactive. But anyway, so I'm gonna hook it up, or I'm gonna hook up my uh, Geiger counter, and uh, we'll test it with the pancake probe first, and then as a special treat, we'll test it with the uh, scintillator. And this scintillator is only really good for counts. Um, I think I recorded a video on it already. But anyway, here goes. I'm gonna pause and get set up. Okay, back and ready to record. Um, I forgot to mention that the sample, by the way, is said to be from Madagascar, and specifically that it should contain thorium-232, according to the gamma spectrographs. But, so let's see here with my alpha-beta gamma-sensitive probe. Right around 3,000 counts a minute alpha, beta, and gamma radiation. That's not bad. Not bad at all. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, and thorium-232 is a pretty heavy alpha emitter, and it also emits a bunch of gammas as well. So, um, Which will lead me to the next test, which is actually hooking up the uh, thallium dope sodium iodide uh, scintillator. So I'm going to hook that up and show you guys how many counts come off of this with that. Okay, so the scintillator is now hooked up to the Geiger counter, which is now uh, just pulling in the general readings. Um, typical background in this room, just to give you an idea, uh, the scale is set to times 10. But just to give you an idea, general background radiation in this room tends to be around 3200, 3300 counts a minute. So we're already at about 10 times that with the scintillator near the rock. So let's go ahead and take the uh, crystal and put it up to the rock. Let's see what we get. That's 20,000 we're passing here. 20,000 counts a minute. 25,000 counts a minute. 30,000 counts a minute. 30, Looks like we've kind of, we're hovering around 33, 33, 34,000 counts a minute. And we'll assume that background's 3,200, so about 30,000 counts a minute um, are coming off of this guy. And that's gamma only. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, but anyway, so it's kind of a, a fun little um, thorium bearing rock sample. Um, it's Appetite with some other um, stuff in it. And yeah, just uh, never know what you'll find in a random rock store. Or a random store anyway that sells mineral samples or rocks of any kind. Anyways, cheers.